Hi, and welcome to today's devotional. It's all about relationship and how we all desire some form of one and get the and how we get the best from them. God intended all of us to be in relationship with him and each other. From the very beginning, God said in Genesis, it is not good for man to be alone. Today's devotion will focus on the purpose of relationships and how we can have a healthy relationship, especially in marriage. Mick and I have had the pleasure of running marriage courses over the past four years. Our qualification is not a piece of paper, but it's life experience and working through our own relationship over the last 36 years. Knowing we have God at the centre, creating that three-chord strand that can't be broken. All of us were born into a family. We were not meant to do life alone. We didn't get to choose our family. However, we most certainly do get to choose our spouse. Growing up in family helps us learn the value of relationships. Even if our upbringing was not the best, it wasn't perfect. We can learn from it, take the positives and allow God to deal with the rest. It's important that before we enter the lifetime commitment of marriage, we build a relationship with God that is solid, strong and healthy. As we journey a relationship with God, he will deposit in us the characteristics we need whilst uprooting the things that hinder us. How can we keep our relationship healthy? On the marriage course, we focus on seven points. Connection, communication, conflict, forgiveness, family, sex and love. And as we work through the course, we firstly have to realise and work on areas in our marriage that would sing, seek to bring division. Mick and I relate the course to an MOT. It's time to check in on all the seven areas and repair anything that needs it, clean up those that are getting stale or unintentionally being neglected, and work on any area that isn't working by changing it. We can use these principles in any relationship. Seek God, have people in your world who are trustworthy and that you can allow to speak into your life, and together you can build a strong, healthy relationship. Our aim is to expand God's kingdom. To be able to do this, we need to have relationships with each other that shows God's love, forgiveness and strength. As our relationship mirrors God, we will see miracles in our families, with our work colleagues and in our wider community. Let our relationships bring hope to those in our sphere of influence and also help our children to grow up feeling safe, secure, loved I'm ready to face their journey with God. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this devotional and remember in any relationship to work on areas that need repairing, strengthen those that are working and ditch the areas that are not healthy. Put God at the centre and choose wisely those who you allow to speak into your life. Have a great day.